watching you once again. I want to invite you to our class at this particular time, as we shall be looking at our highway signs. So I want us to look at our highway signs and I look at the categories and the classes of our these highway signs. But even before we do that, I want to thank you so much for everybody who is watching my videos, everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. And I want to encourage you to uh, that person who is watching for the very first person, uh, for the very first, uh, first time. If you are watching this for the very first time, please can you subscribe and uh, like and share my videos. So uh, join us as we go directly to our lesson today. We are going to look at our highway signs. Highway signs. Now, highway signs are also known as road signs. Road signs, and they're also known as traffic signs. They are also known as traffic signs. So uh, they are highway signs because most of them are highways, like on Mika Road, like on uh, Mombasa Road, that's a highway, they are highway signs. There are some which are found on roads, they are called road signs. Like for example, any other road uh, that is not a high speed road, uh, we call them road signs. And there are also some which are found on, uh, they are found maybe in a, in a place. Say for example, in a, in a church, in a major two, in a petrol station, they are traffic signs. So all these, they are either highway signs, road signs, or traffic signs. Now, these signs fall under three main categories. Three main categories. The highway signs fall under three main categories. The three main categories are A, B, C. So these signs here, as you look at them, they are in three main categories. The three main categories are A, B, C. A, B, C. Now, if we are, are, are coming to the signs for the very first time, you cannot tell which ones are A, which ones are B, and which ones are C. So in order for you to identify them, you identify them by how they look, their features. So we say the signs which are uh, circular in shape, the signs which are circular in shape, are class A. So class A signs are circular in shape. Class A signs are circular in shape. Then class B signs are the ones which are triangular in shape. The ones that are triangular in shape are class B signs. And then class C, they are the ones which are either rectangle or uh, square. Either rectangle or square. So we have class A, B, and C. How do you identify them? The ones that are circular. So if you're walking on the road and you find a sign which is circular in shape, you just know for the very first uh, thing that that is a class A sign. So long as it is circular in shape, it is a class A sign. And then the ones that are triangular in shape, those ones are class B. And then the ones that are uh, rectangular or square, those are class C signs. Class C signs. Now, class A signs, they give information and orders. They give information and orders. Class A signs. They order you. They instruct. They command. Those are class A signs. The ones that are giving information and orders. Then class B, they warn. They give information and warning. Class B signs. They give information and warning. Then class C, give information only. Class C signs, they give information only. Now let's look at class A. Let's start on class A. Starting with class A. Class A signs. Class A signs. Now class A, we have said that they are circular in shape. They are circular in shape, they give information and orders. Those are class A signs. They are circular in shape 
and then give information and others. Now, based science, we write message. Message, that is a mandatory. Then we have a R is for regulatory. And then S is for science to be observed. So we have a mandatory, regulatory, and science to be observed. That is missing. Name class A science. We have mandatory, regulatory, or science to be observed. This one's here. The science that are class A. This one. Like that. Those are class A science. We have class A science. We have mandatory, regulatory, or science to be observed. Now somebody can ask you, why are why do we call them regulatory signs? They are regulatory signs because they give information and orders. And that is why they must be observed. They must be observed because they give information and orders. Then this class, they have three subgroups. Three subgroups of class A. Now the three subgroups of class A, we say, Macopro. We say Macopro. Macopro, this one is major. Major signs or priority. Major or priority, and then we have compulsory. And then we have prohibitory. So we have Macopro. Ma, major. Pro, compulsory, pro, prohibitory. So the major signs are two. The two here, they are the major signs. Those are the major signs. And then the ones that are in blue, they are the compulsory signs. The ones that are in blue, they are compulsory. And the ones that are in um, red, the ones that are circled red, are the prohibitory signs. The ones that are prohibit. Those are class, uh, the, the subgroups of class A. Now let's look at our, first of all, the major signs. Major. Major signs. There is the stop sign. And then, giveaway sign. Stop sign and giveaway sign. So the stop sign is also known as hold. Hold or hold. Hold or hold. So in an exam, we are going to use the word hold. We are going to use that word hold. So you might hear hold and you're like, which sign is that? This one is the stop sign. So the stop sign, uh, we can describe it. Uh, this one is the stop sign. It is red in color, octagon in shape. Octagon meaning that it has eight sides. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is octagon in shape. And then it is also red in color. So it is red in color, octagon in shape with white writings. That is the stop sign. So it can be asked, describe the stop sign. It is red in color, octagon in shape with white writings. And then uh, we have uh, the giveaway sign. The giveaway sign is also known as yield. Yield sign. This is the name that is mostly used in, used in exams. It's yield. So yield. Uh, this one is the yield sign. It's red in color, triangular in shape, with the apex facing downwards. It's red in color, triangular in shape, with the apex facing down, downwards. That is the ideal sign. So, somebody can ask you, can you mention two major road signs? It is a stop sign and a giveaway sign. Mention any two major road signs in Nairobi. Stop sign, giveaway sign. Mention any two major road signs in Mombasa. Stop sign, giveaway sign. Any two major road signs in um, in any place, in anywhere. That is stop sign and giveaway sign. So those are the two major signs. The two major signs, the model town board has two stop signs. One here and another one here. The two stop signs on a model town board, one here, another one here. And then Giveaway signs are nine on a model town board. Nine 
new exercise. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are giveaway signs on a model town hall. Now, we also are at the major signs. Now we talk about the compulsory also. Compulsory signs. Compulsory signs are the signs that are circled blue. The ones that are circled blue. Circled blue. They are the compulsory signs. They say compulsory. So when we look at them, they are in blue. These ones are circled blue. They are the compulsory signs. Now, when we mention them, we must include the word compulsory. So we start by compulsory. No, not really. This one will uh, not start with compulsory. So let's start here. We'll have a compulsory pass left. Compulsory pass left. And then compulsory turn left. There's a difference between pass left and turn left. When they say pass left, they, they don't mean you change direction completely. So that is like keep left, pass left, and then turn left. So the difference between this one and this one is that uh, turn left, there's a complete change of direction. But pass left, there's no complete change of direction. These are very common, uh, they are very common. It's a common question in an, in an exam. You can be asked, can you differentiate between turn left and pass left? Turn left, complete change of direction. Pass left, no complete change of direction. And then we have what? Go straight, compulsory, go straight. Compulsory, turn right. Compulsory, go straight or turn right. Then compulsory, cyclist, track. Compulsory, cyclist, track. And then compulsory, pedestrian, track. And then compulsory domestic animals track. Compulsory minimum speed limit of 30. And of compulsory minimum speed of 30. So it is a compulsory minimum speed of 30. It means the speed should not be below 30. The speed should be 30 and above. And then this one says end of compulsory minimum speed of 30. So these are the compulsory signs. And we also say the traffic police is also under compulsory signs. The traffic police is compulsory. It is placed under compulsory signs. The next uh, category is the prohibitory signs. Prohibitory. These signs prohibit, restrict, uh, they prohibit. They prohibit, they say no, no, no. So those are prohibitions. Now from here, this one says no entry. No entry, then road closed. Road closed, then no entry for vehicles more than two wheels. That means from a tuk-tuk to any other vehicle that is above two wheels, um, no entry, not allowed to enter. So no entry for vehicles more than two wheels, no entry for motorcyclists, no entry for cyclists, no entry for pedestrians, no entry for animal driven cars, no entry for animal driven cars, no entry for hand cars, no entry for hand cars, no entry for farm machineries. No entry for farm machineries or no entry for tractors. No entry for heavy commercial vehicles. No entry for heavy commercial vehicles. No entry for all motors. No entry for all motors. No entry for all motors and animal driven cars. Or you can say no entry for uh, power driven machines. No entry for power driven machines. And then no entry for power driven machines or uh, and animal driven cars. And then no entry for vehicles more than two meters wide. Upana. With, that is the wide Upana. No entry. And then no entry for vehicles more than 3.5 meters height. Height. And then no entry for vehicles more than five tons. 
No entry for vehicles more than five tons. No entry for vehicles more than two tons per wheel at zone. No entry for vehicles more than two tons per wheel at zone. No entry for vehicles more than 10 meters long. No entry for vehicles more than 10 meters long. Keep a distance of 70 meters apart. Keep a distance of 70 meters apart. No left turn. No right turn. No U turn. No overtaking. No overtaking. No overtaking for heavy commercial vehicles. Maximum speed limit is 50 kilometers per hour. Now this one is in red, that is maximum. This one is in blue, it is minimum. Maximum speed limit is 50. And that is the maximum speed limit in town. So you can be asked, can you stress the maximum speed limit in town? It is 50 kilometers per hour. And then, no hooting. No hooting or no excessive noise. Stop for customs check. Simama gari zikabuliwe. Stop for children to cross. Simama watoto wabuke barabara. Give priority to oncoming traffic. Give priority to oncoming traffic. And then, um, end of all prohibitions. End of all prohibitions. Misha wa makata soyote. End of speed limit of 40. Now here we didn't mention of maximum. We didn't mention of minimum. We just said end of speed limit of 40. Then no parking. No parking, no waiting, no stopping. Controlled parking zone. These signs are most common in an exam. So if you are handling an exam, ensure that you look at this sign, this one and this one. We said no parking, no parking, no stopping, no waiting. Controlled parking zone. This one is also most examinable. No entry, road closed. Most examinable. You look at them. This one also, most examinable. Now, how do you understand the signs? How do you understand the signs? Looking at these, huh? Looking at the signs, we have uh, here, we have an animal drone cut. So looking at it and it is crossed, you say that one is no entry for animal drone cars. What is it here? It is a saloon car. So, and it is crossed. That is no entry for a vehicle small and two wheels. What is this? This is a motorbike and it is crossed. No entry for motorcyclists. This one is a bicycle and it is crossed. No entry for cyclists. So that's how you understand those signs. So, um, these ones are class A signs and that is how we Name them. Then we have a plus B size. Plus B. Plus B. Plus B size. They are warning size. Warning size. They are also known as cautionary. They are also known as hazard informative signs. Hazard informative signs. So these signs here, they are the warning signs, cautionary signs, and hazard informative signs. Now somebody can ask you, can you define class B signs? Define class B signs. Class B signs are the signs which gives information and warning. Class B signs. That is how you define them. Now, can you describe class B signs? Describe class B signs. Class B signs are red in color, triangular in shape, with the apex facing upwards. So that is how you describe them. They are red in color, triangular in shape, with the apex facing upwards. These signs are also known as projective signs. They are also known as protective signs. Now, why are they protective? Because they warn the driver of any imminent danger ahead. They warn the driver of any imminent danger ahead. They warn the driver of any imminent danger ahead. 
they are protective signs. So when you encounter these signs, you must slow down and be very cautious because they are protecting you as the driver. They are class B signs. Now starting from here, we have written down ahead, meaning that they are warning you of any danger that is ahead of you. So that is why we say ahead. Like here, sharp bend to your left ahead, sharp bend to your left ahead, sharp bend to your right ahead, double bends, double bends or successive bends to the left ahead, double bends or successive bends to the right ahead, then steep ascend, mlima, steep ascend ahead, steep descent, Teremuko, steep descent ahead, road narrows from both sides ahead, road narrows from both sides ahead, road narrows from right ahead, road narrows from left ahead, and then um, river bank without a barrier ahead, river bank without a barrier ahead, and even road surface ahead, and even road surface, it is most examinable also this one, Severe bumps ahead, severe bumps ahead, severe depression, severe depression ahead, ama kunashimo hapo mbele. This one is a drift or seasonal river ahead, a slippery road surface ahead, slippery road surface ahead, road with the loose stones ahead, road with the loose stones ahead, danger of falling stones or rocks ahead, pedestrians crossing ahead, pedestrians crossing ahead, children crossing ahead, a motorcyclist crossing ahead, domestic animals crossing ahead, wild animals crossing ahead, roadworks ahead or men at work ahead, and then junction controlled by traffic lights ahead. Yes, you can say traffic lights ahead, but that should be a junction. So it is a junction controlled by traffic lights ahead. Danger of low flying aircrafts ahead. Danger of low flying aircraft ahead. I'm and then two-way traffic road ahead. Two-way traffic road ahead. Hazard ahead. Crossroads ahead, Japanda, Ama Makutano ya Barabara hapo mbele, crossroads ahead. Major road joined by minor roads from both sides ahead. Uh, or junction joined by minor roads from both sides ahead. Junction joined by a minor road from right ahead. Junction joined by accelerating lane. Accelerating lane from left. This accelerating lane from left ahead. Roundabout ahead, and then control railway crossing ahead, and control railway crossing ahead. So those are class B signs. Those are what we call class B signs. So um, uh, we can uh, dis uh, ask, describe some of them. This one is most examinable. You'll be asked to describe your approach at a drift. Describe your approach at a drift. Na hapa tunasema ukikaribia ule mto unasimama unaangalia maji kama maji yako pale unaweza estimate na macho uh, kama maji ni mingi uchukue kijiti uende upime maji kwanza upime maji alafu kuja upime na gudumu lako kisha pima na gudumu ukiona unaweza ingia kwa ile maji you can go but if ni mingi sana then you can stop and wait maji yaishe so that you can go uh, back then uh, so these are class B signs. These ones are class B signs. So, so, so we call them uh, warning signs, ordinary signs, or hazard informative signs. Those are class B signs. So if uh, there is any question, you drop it down there under the comment section. And if you are enjoying the class, you still can uh, uh, like the videos and uh, Put your comment down there. So if there is a question, put it down there on the, on the comment section. And if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe and let us proceed. So now 
we have some common questions. This one is a pedestrian track. Njia ya watu. A pedestrian track ni njia iliyo kando ya barabara inatumiwa na watu. That is a pedestrian track. A road alongside the road that is used by pedestrian. That is a path alongside the road. And then this one say you know, pedestrian crossing ahead. It is different from this one. Pedestrian crossing ahead, pedestrian track. So this one is a section for pedestrians to cross the road. We cross from one side to the other. That is a pedestrian crossing. And then this one here says pedestrian crossing on the spot. Pedestrian crossing on the spot. So this one is ahead, this one is ahead, and this one is on the spot. And then this one is a public footpath. Public footpath. Amanjia ya Uma. Like for example, Avakan Walk. Avakan Walk is a public footpath. Also, uh, from crossing from Urupa, Upper Hill to down through Urupa, that is a public footpath. But this one is a pedestrian track. This one is alongside the road. Uh, we have another one. This one is a cyclist track. Jia ya Baiskeli. And then this one is a cyclist services. Cyclist services, cyclist truck. Jia by Skelly, Oduma, by Skelly. This one says no through way. No through way. Hakuna njia kabisa. But this one, road closed. He in a fungwa kwamuda. The road has been closed for a short time. But this one means there is no through way kabisa, akuna njia kabisa. And this one is a give priority to over oncoming, over oncoming. And this one is a oncoming, over oncoming, oncoming, like that. So oncoming are vehicles that are coming on the right side. Like for example, you can demonstrate it here. Here, give priority to these cars. Oncoming traffic. Oncoming traffic. So, if you have I have to give way to these ones. Oncoming traffic. Then, here, here, now I want to overtake, or maybe there's an accident here. I want to overtake this, overtake this car. But I cannot overtake. I have to give way to this person. This one is over oncoming. Overcoming traffic. This one here. So the human image you put your picture on the end. So that one is over coming. Overcoming traffic. This one here. And then which one else can we be asked? Which one else can we be asked? This one, uh, we can only say the difference. We call them level crossing. Level crossing and level crossing. So it is a level crossing and level crossing. Now, so it is the two are level and a railway. But now the difference is where they are found. The difference between a level crossing and a railway crossing is that a railway crossing is the one that crosses in urban areas. Even a bit of Chago, the later railway crossing. Even a bit of town, later level crossing. So in town we shall say level crossing, but home we shall say railway crossing. So it is the same thing, but it's only where they are found. And that is also the same thing with a hotel and a motel. A hotel is in the city centre, CBD, while a motel is alongside the highway. So, ile ambayo yuko kwa highway, inaitwa motel. Kama city cabanas, ama wida motel. Wida. Na hotel, yuko in town. So, zile ziko huko nipanda, zile zecha kwa saani. So, that is it for today. That is our class today. And uh, we wish to thank you so much for watching. If you are watching for the very first time, please subscribe, like, comment and even share. So God bless you so much. See you in our next class.